think one of my biggest concerns at that point was managing my expectations um, and student expectations as well. Uh, we'd worked really hard in, in both my classes to create community uh, and my classes were built around small group discussions, collective problem solving, and we had a, a number of really great guest speakers come into the classroom. Uh, and I think I was most concerned about how we were going to carry um, all of that life over into a digital space. Um, but thankfully, I had a really wonderful TA um, who was willing to talk through the process with me when we sat down for a number of meetings and brainstormed some ways um, to sort of hold our community together in the classroom, um, which included things um, like setting up optional peer reviews for the final papers, um, asynchronous breakout discussions, uh, and I even tried to find some fun prizes to give away for participation. Uh, I tried to make use of a lot of materials that I knew were already online um, and on the web and when I could, um, I even invited a few experts and former students to record um, some short five minute videos on their take on some of the class topics. We had, for instance, um, uh, a former student who's a video game designer came in to talk about indigenous gaming. Um, I think that the primary goal in March um, was um, to lessen the load um, for uh, my students, for my TA um, and for me. Um, my TA and, I, TA and I both held regular office hours in Collab Ultra, sometimes even together, where we basically just hung out and had coffee uh, and invited students to drop in and chat. Um, and we had conversations with anyone who came by. Um, but I also sent out um, a few general calls to all my students um, on more than one occasion that um, I would offer feedback on any thesis statement that they sent me for final essays. Um, and that was no matter what state that thesis statement was in. And, um, that's not something I, I usually feel that I have the time for in sort of the hectic day-to-day -day life of general uh, instructoring. Um, but uh, with COVID, uh, I felt I had a little bit more time uh, and it was actually something that I really enjoyed. More than half of the students ended up sending me some version of a thesis statement. Uh, and I really had a good time being involved in the writing process from the ground up um, and seeing how those ideas developed into the final papers. When we bring technologies into the classrooms and we get students engaging with um, digital tools, um, I'm teaching those tools, things are going to go wrong while I teach them. <laughs> and, have, uh, and so really foregrounding that in um, my pedagogy and, and being in conversation with students about that and saying, these things are going to go wrong at times in front of the classroom, um, but that is part of what it means to learn with technology, right? This is solving together um, is going to make the work that we do here stronger. Um, and being willing to laugh at yourself uh, and to not have your feelings hurt when students laugh at you in the chat um, or um, uh, in other ways is part of it. I think for me, a story I have from the, the shift in March, one of my, the moments that really helped open things up for me is that I, I wanted to create that community feeling um, that I was worried we were gonna lose. Um, and so I, I wanted, to, I was gonna do a, a screening of a short film with students. Um, and I was gonna try and do that by screen sharing. Um, uh, and we students would come, you know, I was like, bring your popcorn and we'll all watch the short film together and then talk about it like we would have in class. Um, but um, I didn't realize exactly how much bandwidth that was going to take to do, do a screen of a video and have 40 students in the space at the same time. And so that crashed. Um, and my, uh, in the moment, my solution was actually just to put that same video up on an iPad. And then I crouched behind my computer um, with the iPad uh, and held it up. And the chat, just hear the chat going, bing, 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 <laughs> with students laughing and saying, they, they couldn't believe uh, And we all, in the end, we ended up watching the film. We all had a good laugh. Uh, and you know what? Uh, that wasn't so bad. Like, it, it actually, I think, worked in my favor. Um, I think it actually 
broke the ice a little bit. Um, it sort of took the seriousness off. Um, it showed the students that uh, I was making mistakes in the space as well, too. Uh, recognizing that we're not in this alone, uh, that uh, uh, all of, uh, even folks um, like like me who have experience teaching in digital spaces and working with digital technologies um, are having these anxieties and like these moments in the middle of the night where we wake up going, oh my God, I have to get this class online. Uh, and um, I think aware of that um, and realizing that it's okay um, to reach out to colleagues, it's okay to reach out um, to um, uh, people in your own department, but also folks uh, in CTLE um, or folks in another, anyone who else is teaching in this space, sharing those concerns um, and, and brainstorming together about potential ideas, I think is can really alleviate some of that pressure um, and, um, can give you, you know, a, a buddy to, to work through as you're, you're doing materials. Um, um, I think for me that I, uh, can be are really important uh, is trusting your students, um, not going in classroom with a sense that students are out to get you, um, but that they are they are there as co-learners and they see you succeed. Teaching is always taxing work. Um, I, I find nothing more exhausting than, than a day of teaching. Um, but teaching online is taxing in a different way and it is going to have an impact on your mental health um, and, and your just the way you feel and conduct yourself. Um, so giving yourself space to feel that, making room um, to, um, to have that exhaustion uh, and having support teams in place um, that you can talk to, um, that you can vent with, um, I think uh, a long way um, in making and helping uh, profs to find a sustainable path um, through this new this new world we live in.